but that means the the your IDE depending on the which IDE you try to use it but uh, it is it is open source tools it is good tools you can use also this one so today I tried to to discuss uh, uh, really about the how how the different type of geospatial data formats uh, works and then give it to you some examples like uh, one examples like how can you integrate the your geo geojson uh, data into the your static file systems and even though you can if you have a geojson data is recorded from the other systems or other file systems and then you can dynamically put how can you put and drag and drop this the the geo geojson files into the your applications that's the today i try to do the this this screencast number uh, up to maybe maybe with multiple screencasts but i try to do like really understanding how can you build the geo application with your existing geo data sets means if you have a data like geojson or kml wkt wkb and those things and how can you directly put to the uh, directly put uh, without in geo server directly put to the uh, the file from the file system to the your web application that's i'm trying to do today that's if you uh, that's the, my intention like uh, this 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 screencast if i go to i already did the developments but i will talk to you about about those development how can you start these developments but in the, i will show you now uh, the the features functionality that's i try to discuss today with you so if I go to the, the application is running, so you see the application is running. I can refresh the phases. <clears throat> the application is running, running that's I expected in the, the, the previous screencast. Just follow that once. You can draw the modify. Uh, you can draw and modify the, the features functionalities. It take time because it's loading really big data set from the from the from your geojson files. You see the geojson files really coming, really top coming from the across the world, and then that's why it is really uh, it's taking really time. But it's it, it is efficient. But in the blue, uh, blue, 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 uh, the colors is coming from the geo server, and then you can even though create your your own geometry and then. Uh, and then you can i think so you can build your own geometry on different geometry formats and then you can build your line format depending which type of geometry you try to build because it is a little bit slower so you see the geometry uh, you can go this way so that's that's i'm trying to do how can you build this statistic uh, the static uh, geojson files and upload this JSON file to the your application dynamically. That's why this is the intention. Like today, I try to do. You can drag and drag and drop functionalities uh, for the uh, for the for the drag and drop functionalities. I mean, so the, let's see the drag and drop. It is it is already done. It is working properly. Drag and drop. So uh, drag and drop functionalities. You can have a possibility like how can you you have a geo server data and then you have a GeoJSON file. How can you how drag and drop this the geo server functionality a data geo data um, geo GeoJSON data into the files. If you saw the files like from here, you see you have file like you have a country like Bangladesh or a country all over the world, and then let's see put it that all over the world how it is look like. So. So it takes on. So it see that all across the world, you have a GeoJSON files and you put it GeoJSON files and it's automatically drawn, drag and drop and it works properly. That's what we expected. That's I will show you today that the development when I start the developments. But here's the, the functionality that I try to share with you. So if you have a, another files like the really small files like, like country like Bangladesh and you can put it this like country like Bangladesh, you see the, how efficient it is. You, you have a, the geojson files you just drag and drop and the dynamically and file is coming into the your, your systems and then and then you have a really small files like your plot on plot or buildings or floor based or any street or any any few eyes you can always even though can then then drag and drop these the features and functionalities into the map so that's how they said so this is the features and functionalities and you see that the feature and functionality is really efficiently coming that's one and even though you can 
even though media modify these features that's i mean so it's selected you can modify this also that's i mean so you can modify these features and then so on so forth that's the functionalities i'm trying to do uh, that all thing together uh, you can do even though you can edit new function or new new polygon features you can draw the new polygon features and then it works that's that's what we expected so it's a polygon features and then you can draw also the also the uh, the point features uh, i have a point features possibility yes i have it and so you can draw it like you know point features sorry so it is you can draw also the point features and then you can also have the possibility to draw the line features that i will show you uh, it is a little bit slower today because a lot of data is rendering so it has a line features and then you can have a circle feature you can even though build a circle no, sorry you can build a circle features that you expected maybe you need some buffering work some some reason and you can do uh, uh, build the circle also that i that, that's that's i think i i will show you detail about that one how it works and then how it's done so let's let's this is the gate overview what i'm trying to do today that's the drag and drops how can you static geo geojson file how can put it in the G static geojson file and see that in the maps into the in the in the in the ground level in the open street maps and even though you have a really dynamically created geojson file how can you put it in the geojson drag and drop and see the your information into the maps that's that's the idea today to 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 make this screencast so we get what we, we we need to be get you have to be get it properly with the from very beginning the screencast number 7.1 up to this screencast number uh, 7.8 and then now i am continuing how can you how can you uh, load the uh, static geojson files means you have a geojson existing files how can you put it in statically into the your web application or geo web application and then you have a drag and drop functionalities we try to do then you have a drag and drop that means you generated the geojson file you try to drag and drop into the your 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 your, your geo applications anytime dynamically i mean that's one so let's have a start the the our our developments work that we are looking for today so what we need to we already discussed about this this one the detail how can you build uh, one components is a very easy commands component build the components just make uh, uh, and npm g and components you ultimately build the components but you can get it really quickly overview on the previous screencast i already discussed about clear about that one so you need your components like i have a one component drag and drop features components it has a some four files like it automatically created when you generate the components and you have as uh, uh, yet uh, TypeScript files. That is the main files for as like service files, and then your HTML files, TypeScript HTML files, and then you have a CSS files, and then you have like uh, uh, you have like the, some some test test case spec test CSS file. Just get it in the Google it how the how the components in Angular component works, and then you can get a clear idea or you can follow the previous screencast and you can get really clear overview about the uh, about components services and then others the html and css components so let's let's overview this is a css part this is a really small part you can change it color uh, maybe you can red colors uh, that's red colors you can put it and you can save it the compiles application cli automatically compile the applications and then you can go to the to the the web page you have to see the, the this is the color so red and but i put it already to a button clear and download for these features and feature functionalities or clear clear and download the you geo files from somewhere that's that's the idea to put it these two button but i didn't add it that is uh, the functionalities with the button but i believe we can put it in the later later screencast to put how can you download this your recorded information and then put it as a make a geojson file that was the idea even though you can clear it and then you can download this information into the 
your file system or you need any, any database systems maybe post GIS database system, you can do you can put this information 